Hello gamers, it's Soft Kitty 99 and today we're back in Ardenweald for the final chapter of the Night Fae campaign and we've just started the scenario but we haven't done anything inside it. Clear the way to defend the Grave of Awakening. And Sarah is going to help us. Yep, I think she's a little bit upset and she wants to deal with them. Leave no trust alive. Wild hunt, we ride for Ardenweald. Right, so we're not actually on Yasara. We're kind of set back away from her. So let's um, putting them to sleep. Oh, we're putting them all to sleep. Oh, okay. Dreamless slumber. We're going to try and stun them all and put them to sleep so that our forces can have them delayed and uh, pick them off when they are asleep. That could be quite a cunning little plan, couldn't it? I did actually think we were going to be flying with you, Sarah, and she would take us on her back and uh, we'd fly over and she'd bomb them and then we'd all land at the grove itself from the air. So, yeah, this is not quite what I was expecting, but... We're kind of her target people. We're saying this would be a good place to shoot at. So we were a, a, what, a spotter. And from the angle, I'm, I'm, it's a little bit difficult to see if we're actually hitting them and getting them to go to sleep. It's just the number of Zeds appearing that kind of gives them a way that we've hit, hit them, but they were like little ant specks, weren't they? On the ground, we couldn't see them. Around. Okay, that's different. Right, so now she's going to drop us at the grove, I assume. Yeah, and she's still breathing on the ground, look, put them all asleep. Oh, there's the Winter Queen. Things didn't quite go the way we thought they would, Winter Our Queen. Sacred charge remains unchanged. The Winter Queen's eyes stare with restrained power. Tell me what you know. Aralon has fallen. The Drust march on the Grove of Awakening, what and we've done what we can to slow them down. Drust bent noble Aralon to their will, and, and deceived us into forward. confronting him. He's... gone. Our foe now marches on the Grove of Awakening, conscripting your own subjects into their ranks. What are your orders? Loyal Aralon, you distort difficult choices. You need... To make certain sacrifices. But there comes bless a time to fight for that which we hold most dear. Yes. Our sacrifices will not be in vain. Mm, we're going to lose a lot of people. I think she thinks that. We already have, haven't we, though? They've turned all of our own people. We've lost a lot already, right? So we need to stand in here. Receive the Queen's blessing. So she's going to empower us, I assume. Right, so we'll be more effective. All of Ardenfield is called to the hunt. Oh, everybody. Oh. You will help lead the charge your very essence to preserve my spirit. I shall defend Ardenweald until the last. Come on, you Sarah, let's go. So we've got a little party with us now. So where she's put, uh, where you Sarah's put everybody to sleep, we're now going to go down and start fighting. So putting a lot to sleep means that their forces are divided and um, slowed down. So pick off the ones that are still awake and uh, maybe we even pick a few off in their dreams. Yeah, I've got a little party to help me fight now. It's not just me and me. So we'll help our hunters as we go forward. Pick off the ones that are awake. What's 
slay 45 brisk horses and walk the drove of the way Right, so we're going down the road, taking out the bad guys till we get to the grave. Right, so remember those ones who are asleep, so we can... Uh, it seems a little unsporting to take them out while they're asleep, but then they were converting our people to fight for them, so that was definitely uh, much worse than what we were doing, so... And we are seriously out in the here by the looks of it. Not a good position to be in. Let's keep going. Okay, how are we doing? 18. Missed a few here, that's bad, please. It's going to take us a little while to get down our path, but we will keep going. There's some more sleeping here, let's grab these quickly. Big guy, let's stop him. Ooh, we've got an elite this time. Quite a lot of help now. A few little guys. I can't quite see everybody because they're just buried under these big bodies. That they're still fighting us, but I can't really see what we're fighting anymore. Got a few of these little guys as we move forward. Help the guys that are fighting at the side of the path. Blow it all up. How far down is the grove? Need anything? I don't think we're too far away looking at the map, but it's a lead out here. 39. Six more we need. Let's take some of these elites out, because we've got a bigger party. Can't leave those for the little solo guys. Near the area near the grove a little bit. And then try and find our way there. Uh, we need three more. This one here. A couple more just down here. Hello there. Is this the turn? This might be the turning that we want to take. But yeah, I think it's down here. So if we get the last couple from here. Oh, that's it. We've got the number we need. Right, can you guys manage this? Let's take this guy out. Leave the road clear. Right, we're going to go to the grove. Help the Queen. Orders from the Queen. Speak with the Queen. She's so tall that we have to back far up here to be able to see that. We've got lots of help here, that. The drought believes us all. What are your orders, my Queen? Queen's eyes blaze with fury. These creatures shall be exterminated. Are you not a Dalek, darling? You're the Queen. What are your orders, my Queen? The Drost believe that seizing the Grove of Awakening will bring them victory. They are mistaken. Okay. Moonberry, Hearn, Ilios, Zehad. Win back control of the grove's anchors. Our soul bond. I shall expel these intruders. As you command, my queen. For Arden Wheel. Right, so each of our friends has got to go and secure an anchor, and we're to run round and try and help the ones that need the help as we go. Perceiving nothing beyond your own desire. So she's saying they've got tunnel vision and they can't see the big picture. Well, those who kneel before you are left to wither. One by one, we will claim every grove, every fay, every soul. The Drost could have been protectors of nature. Caretakers of the cycle. You choose instead to steal and destroy 
So we have to run around to the four anchors, help fight the bad guys, and then help the people that have been sent there to untie the anchors, and then we leave them protecting it while we go help the next set to set everything up for the queen. Okay, duck. Well, I'll do what I can. I'm only ones ahead, I can't do everything. Right, so. Which way should I be going? Right, we've done those two, so we want to go back towards the Queen. So this side's done. So we're to the opposite side of the Queen, I think. So if we go back to her, right, that one's done, yeah. So we'll go back to the Queen, yeah, and then the other two are the other side, that's right. Hearn. Let's go help Hearn. And then we'll go help Moondi afterwards. There we go. Nice one. Alright, let's empower this one, Hearn. And Moonberry. There she is. Look, did they just fear my Moonberry? Naughty people. Right, let's get rid of this moth. Come on, Moonberry, we can do this. Oh, no, they feared me this time. That's cheating, isn't it? I'll have to fight this guy now because we've got food in the room. Okay, don't come here. I'm not this one. Let's it once. Finish this person off. Come on, Moonbury, let's do it. Right, Sorry, Moonbury, we seem to be losing a lot of people, don't we? I can take it from here. Get going. Okay, back to the Queen. I assume it's back to the Queen. Let's deal with this bad guy here. That's for the other people to deal with. Right, back to the Queen. Yep, nobody's fighting the Queen. That's good. I do not need the pity of a fading Queen. She's not fading, you you silly. You will watch as I claim your throne and crush the heart of the forest in my grasp. Well, if you crush everything, then what have you got? You've got nothing. Very short sighted plan, isn't it? You get more power, but everything's destroyed, then you've got nothing. What point is the power without anything to use it for? We will dispose of this wretch. Right, I'm dealing with these like anchors and these bad guys, so more room stones won't get rid of. Move on to the next one. I'm going as fast as I can, my queen. I'm on the third one. Uh, oh, no, come on, go down, mate. There we go. There's, there's the room. Sit down there. Right, let's fight her. Nice work, it for me. Yeah. <laughs> She's not happy that we took down the rooms, is she? Yeah, this is definitely a harder fight than when she had the arrow on disguised as her. That was cheating and that was nasty. You're a nasty, horrible person and she feared me again. I really gets me annoyed when they fear me. There's nobody here to fear me into though, because we've already cleared the area. Come on, folks, let's get her. We can do this together. Yay! Return to calm. Speak with the Winter Queen. To depart. Okay, don't. We did it! We did it, Winter Queen! We need to go round and clear them all up, but we got rid of the, their current leader. The, forest shall listen. the Winter Queen's eyes blaze with restrained power. She looks upon you with approval. You fought well, mortal. Come, 
we shall leave their bones in the gall. I'll leave their bones to the gall. We're going to let the gall meet them. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, everybody's here. Look, Alios. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that yeah, mask for Bon Somebody's even here. Look, that horn, Catherine, Tianax, and uh, Moonberry. And Chandris as well. Everybody. Trust and Ashes. Well done, Huntress. So we've got the anima things for the uh, weapon. Yeah. Well done, Huntress. You have saved Ardenweald from the Drust. And in so doing, protected countless other realms from the darkness. And then all the other things we said. We've got the new moth appearance, new mount. The shadow lands face unrelenting peril. Stand ready, Huntress. Your strength will be needed in the days to come. Okay. I will stand ready. Thank you. Is that everything? That's everything, I think, isn't it? So we've got... Learn the Mount. We'll have to go outside to be able to look at the uh, appearance for that. And we need to go get a weapon. There we go, the end. There we go, the Enchanted Dream Light Rune Stag. So it's the paler blue and aqua green sort of colours. Very, very pretty look. I'm trying to remember to go outside and show you that. Let's pop that on my action bar so we can a look at that and then the Arden Moth Soul. The Arden Moth is plentiful in Ardenweald. Delicate looking creatures. They have hidden strength. Their magic can soothe the most tortured soul or send the unwary into an eternal sleep. The shape of the moth will be yours to call upon. Bring the Arden Moth Soul to Lady Moon in the heart of the forest. So then that's a soul shape variation that we can use. So let's fly downstairs and try and do some I of these things. So we want to turn the moth shape in and take a look at that. We want to get our new weapon and we want to take a look at the mount. And that there is the end of the Night Fay chapter nine. So that's the end of the Night Fay campaign. Lady Moon. Your spirit is a bright one. I have the Arden Moth Soul. Ah, the moth! Such beautiful creatures. Enjoy your time, right, so what we want to do now is talk to her and change it to the Arden... Arden Moth, there you go. So if we click that, now we should be able to turn into the moth form. So there you go, that's the new moth form that we get for completing the campaign. That's rather pretty, actually. There you go, so that's another variation for you. And that's where you get it from chapter 9. Pretty, huh? Lots of detail on that model, that. Nice. So what shall we do next? Let's go outside and take a look at the mount, shall we? We'll pop that on our action bar. There we go. That's quite pretty actually, isn't it? Yeah, so it's kind of got pale blue markings. Oh, it's a nice little outline uh, animation, isn't it? So when you press the space bar, it's sort of the animation from the side. Here we go kind of trots and then leaps backwards. Very nice. Quite a unique little animation. Just go around so you can see it. Very beautiful antlers on there, isn't there? Very, very, very pretty. So, oh, wait, and I'm gone. I was just going to say that's the end. It's not, we've not gone and got on that our... Um, weapon have we right so if we go inside it's on the downstairs section isn't it so if we go this way 
The weapon exchange people are under the bottom here. Lots of things down here in this centre section underneath. Alright, so we want the Raid Finder one, which I think is Little Moss Girl. Yeah, Sparkle Breeze. So we can get... That's all the junk. And we have the choice of these three weapons here. So depending on which spec you're going for, you will be able to decide. You can have a one-handed mace. That's two-handed staff. or a two-handed staff. See, that one's got the intellect on it, and this one's the agility one, so I want to get the agility one, so that's the one we're going for. There you go, for the guardian or the feral. Come Let's see pop that on so you can see what that looks like. The spear. There we go. So it's, it's kind of got a drust sort of infected appearance effect there. Can't really see it very well in this position, can you? Is there a bit in height? Angle. It's quite a dark model and we're in a fairly dark area actually because we're underneath here. Actually this centre section is a little bit brighter, isn't it? Yeah, you can see it better there, look. No, we don't see it. I actually want to put it in my hand to see if we can get a better angle. There you go, you can see it. It looks a little bit like a claw on the end of the spear, doesn't it? So there you go, that's all of our rewards and that's the end of the Night Fae campaign's nine chapters. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!